Come on, me. Okay, no. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> hey guys, it's Linzor. So actually, I've been like in this uh, sad mood, the mood of sadness, because I feel like I've been listening to a bit sad music, but it's actually been making me feel a bit better, which has been a bit weird, because I feel like sad music would make me sadder, because it's been like years since I listened to sad music. I feel like it's helping. It is. I'm jamming. I'm digging it. So today I have a table in front of me, which means we can stand shit. Like Jesse, we stand. We stand makeup. We stand pink guy. We stand doji. We stand six six inchion. X six tension. Stand. What more do we stand? We stand my mom. <laughs> okay, we stand a lot of things. So we have a table, we have makeup, we're doing makeup today. Something that has been inspiring me has been to be on Instagram. So you guys know I love to change up my looks, I say that all the time, but I love trying different things. I just love changing it up. And one girl that I have been kind of like makeup inspired by, oh no, my phone died. My phone probably just died from all the standing on this table. <laughs> Okay, here we have her, Meg Feather on Instagram. I just got my iPad instead. <laughs> her makeup is like super Instagram-y, cute, extreme, like really manipulating the way you look with highlighter, contouring. Absolutely obsessed with this. This is so Linzor. This is like, this is what I like. Okay, so I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed and I stan. <laughs> We're doing kind of her makeup. So I've been watching some videos of her. I couldn't find really good makeup tutorials on Instagram makeup. Okay, I'm literally so rude right now because I have my headphone in because I just want to listen to some music while I'm doing this. It's gonna be fun. The first thing I thought we would do is to use this MAC 2-in-1 with Radiance Booster. I just could not resist buying it because it was holographic. And I have a new new sponge. So I'm just gonna like super lightly apply this. Apply this because uh, my skin can't take too much product. So a little while ago I saw a little tutorial about a girl who went to, I think his name is Mario, who does Kylie Jenner's makeup. He uses a kind of lip balm and puts it on her cheeks so they'll be like extra moist. So I'm gonna do that. It feels really good. <laughs> Okay, so for foundation, I'm gonna actually try and pan myself a little bit. I'm gonna use the Fit Me Maybelline foundation in 220, I think it is. This is the one that Kim Kardashian uses. And then I'm gonna use my regular one, Born This Way, Too Faced in Snow. Okay, we are getting tons of this, because I, I know we're, we're just gonna have to cake, because this is Instagram pictures. And uh, most important part is that we look good. Uh, in photographs, not in real life. Is it just me who likes to try new things? Do you guys know any like Instagrammers or YouTubers who likes to like change up their style all the time? Because I see, I feel like I've never found one that is like similar to me who likes to change up their looks like kind of every video. Okay, it's looking good. Now it's time for concealer. I don't like my concealers. I have the one from NYX, Gotcha, and from Inglot. I need to invest in some new brushes. Like, I really want to get a foundation brush, but brushes are so expensive, is it just me? They're probably expensive for a reason, but you know, it feels like bad to buy a makeup brush for like 20 bucks. We're gonna use this to highlight because the shade is much, much lighter than the foundation that we have now. I don't think we're gonna get better coverage than that. But guess what? We're gonna bake a lot. Like, baking is key in Instagram makeup, which is not good for me because I have dry skin, which means caking isn't really good for me. But uh, never mind, we are going to try it. Okay, guys, this is going to be intense. Let's bake this. Ah! Uh... It looks so nice though. I wish I could bake more. How long is this supposed to be here? <laughs> it's just like it's flying all over the room. <laughs> okay, well, now that I look like a psycho, we're gonna do some contouring. So we're gonna use, it's still falling off. <laughs> we're gonna use this one again. 
We just want everything to like look defined and sharp. It's like inevitable that we're gonna have to do the nose, but oh my God, I hate contouring my nose. It always turns out so bad. So we're using a big ass brush now. I have blended this out. We're gonna do some bronze. I actually feel like I wanna take this bake off. It's like, ugh, it's gonna be too much. Okay, it kinda looks cool though. So next thing we're going to do is something I saw in Meg's makeup video. She uses a setting spray and she uses so much that drops form. She does this right after she bakes. She said that the face will absorb it and it's good after setting. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna use the Urban Decay All Nighter, which I actually don't really like, but we're, I have a lot of it, so why not just try and use it? It's gonna be Jeffree Star a lot. <laughs> oh my god, how can she use this much? This is like half the bottle i can't even laugh do you see this this is how tan i am okay it's actually looking really good i'm gonna start doing this but it took like 15 minutes for me to be back and it's been dried so we're gonna bake just a little more this time we're gonna do something that i do all the time after i've contoured i put it here i saw kylie jenner do it so now i do it <laughs> Look, it's gonna snatch here. Okay, we're gonna do something very scary now and we are going to do like black eyebrows. I need to like retouch them a bit, but we're gonna add some brown now. Always using my Morphe palette in 35N. I'm just gonna use a little bit more of a defined brush and go into the darkest shades of brown that I have on this palette. Okay, they're fine. We like them, they're fine. So for the eyes, we're actually gonna use this from So Ava Caramel Melange. They have like these great colors for the look I wanna do. I wanna do kind of orange brownish. I'm also gonna use Modern Renaissance by Anastasia Beverly Hills cause she has some oranges that I really like and I wanna use. Hello! Okay, because we did this cut crease, we want to add some glitter or gold. I think we're gonna go for this one. Okay, we got the gold eyelids. Next up, we're gonna highlight the inner corners with Anastasia Beverly Hills. We're gonna use the Vermeil one. With a tiny, tiny brush, we're gonna go into the eye corner and make it glow. So to clean up like the edge of the eyeshadow, we're gonna use, you guessed it, setting powder. Next up, we're doing eyeliner. This one is from NYX, the matte liquid liner. I think we're going for kind of a long one, yeah? I just chose a very thick, wild pair of lashes. Kind of wisp. Don't remember where I got them, so I can't help you, but I'm not gonna do this on camera because this video is gonna be so long if I do that. Okay, this looks fabulous. I added some dots under the eyes just to make it a bit more. So we have two more things to do and these are the most important steps kind of. We have the lips and we have the highlight. This is my cream highlights from Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. It looks kind of nasty because I lost the lid. <laughs> it's in cream form and it's better for my skin because I have such dry skin. So I guess this is going everywhere. So now that we got that highlight on, we can continue on with a dry highlighter. This one is from KKW Beauty. This one is in iridescent. We are packing it on. I mean, when we're done highlighting, the sun is gonna come for me. That's like the goal. <laughs> okay, I, I, I look so weird in real life right now. This. Uh... <laughs> Next up, we're doing the lips. This one is from NYX. It's called Nude. We are overlining as f Oh my God, look at me. <laughs> Going in with Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin. Oh my God. Okay, I think the last step now should be to put on a wig. Let me go style the wig and uh, I'll be back with the finished look. How excited are we? I think it looks kind of good. Oh my God. I think I did a pretty good job. <laughs> I'm like, kind of. I mean, in real life, I look a bit crazy because the highlighter should not have been iridescent. It should have been kind of gold. I'm just so used to not being able to use gold highlighter because I'm so pale. I mean, I can barely pack any more on because it's so much on already. But the sun is jealous, so we did that. I'm gonna apply some of these techniques to my own makeup. I love when things look extra. The eye makeup looks better on camera and worse in person, but the overall look looks better in person than on camera, actually. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to comment down below what you thought and how did I do. I hope, uh, I hope I did good. 
and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!